Hi, Michael Bloom, chiropractor. Let's have a chat about something that is really a problem in society. We are sitting for an increasing amount of time uh, across the entire globe. But if we are sitting for the uh, increased amounts of time, well, at least you can try and sit a bit better. So here's a desk setup. Let's talk about some fundamentals such as chair position, keyboard position, mouse position, and screen position. Let's start with the chair position. With the chair, well, first of all, put your backside to the back of the chair. And then you want to maintain an upright position, feeling like your shoulders are straight over the top of your hips. Then you'll need to push your chair in as tightly as you can to the desk. It does feel like you're a bit jammed in here, but that is the best ergonomic position. So in this position, with the keyboard, we need the keyboard in a position where we've got the ability to rest our forearms on, on the desk. So that the forearms are actually taking some of the pressure off your wrists, that if, the, if your arms weren't on the desk, your wrists take a lot more pressure. You're more inclined to get RSI in the wrist or repetitive strain injury. So have your forearms on the desk and your keyboard at a position where you can obviously use a keyboard. And same with the mouse. You want the mouse at a position where you're using your for the desk to take the weight of your shoulder and your arm. So your hand, your forearm is rested on the desk and you're using your mouse and you're using your keyboard. What I see happen, and this is the way not to do it, is people are too far back. The keyboard is here and they're, in, they're slouched forward and they're just tapping away like this. Now that might be sustainable for a short amount of time, but over months and years, you will end up injured. So let's get back to the good position. So we're slid right in, we're upright, and here's the screen. The screen position must be elevated. It must be elevated so that your eyes, are, if you're looking at the horizon straight ahead, then the top of the screen is slightly above that. So you're looking straight ahead. So you can maintain a position like that over time it is far better for you ergonomically. So having said all that, the final thing that's really important is get up from your desk regularly, at least once per hour. Get up from your desk, move away from your desk, and just get some movement through your body. Because it doesn't matter how well you have set up ergonomically, you do still need to get up. You still need to move your body, move your neck, and actually get out of the seated position, get some blood flowing through your system. I hope the demonstration of a typical desk setup, a sitting desk, not a standing desk, has been of use to you today. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer them. Have a great day, stay healthy.